What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be going through the 5 best and worst value point guards in NBA 2K17. While some of these players are budget players, not all of them are. If you're looking for the best players for under 10k, you should probably go and check out Ant The Man's list. I'm going to leave a link to that list in the description if you're looking for purely budget players, his list is probably the best for you. So at number 5 in the worst value we have got Rajon Rondo. This card is an incredibly good defender, really good driving layup, it's got 92 on ball defense. Really really good. Good speed, good speed with ball, good acceleration, but only a 61 free throw. And he's also 60k. I know his price is going to go down when the Celtics collection comes out, but it's probably going to drop to maybe 20-30k max. And you can get better players. The Ruby Gary Payton is a better card than this, and that card is 6k. So without doubt, this has to be one of the worst value cards in the game. Next up, we've got Isaiah Thomas. And to be honest, I could be talking about any Isaiah Thomas card. Because unless you have that 98 overall one, he's just not going to play well in game. The only Isaiah Thomas card that's really dominated was the Pink Diamond 2k15, and that is a long gun. Like stats wise, Isaiah Thomas isn't bad. This card is okay, but in the stats that matter, it's not good enough. 6 for 1. While the card is fast, you can get much, much better players that are faster and are just much better in game for less than half the price of both of these cards. So that's why it's at probably one of the worst value. Just because of how much better the cards are that are cheaper than it. At number 3, we have got John Stockton. So that's why this card is incredible. But he's a 6 foot 1. Not incredibly athletic point guard, 89 speed, like not incredibly quick, not great at going to the basket, even though he does have, only have a 90 steal, I don't understand it, he's the all time leader in steals, but like there's nothing this guy does exceptionally well. Yes, he can shoot a little bit from three, he can shoot a little bit from mid range, his passing stats are unbelievable, but since when does passing vision make that much of a difference? Is it just me or are the players not the one that pick out the passes, not the cards? Like, on-ball defense IQ 94, which is good, really good, but again, that Gary Payton will not be that much worse than this card, and this card is going for 80k right now, so it has to be in the worst value. At number 2 we have got Larry Drew. I understand that his price is mainly so high because of how rare this card is, but at the same time, that's not really going to deter me from putting him on this list. He's, his value right now is 35k, whether it's because of rarity or player in game. Like, there's no reason to buy this card. This card was 4k when it came out for a reason. It doesn't do anything well. This was back when Sapphires were going for, for 100k. This card was 4k. It, stats wise, it's terrible. It's a quick, it's quick. The card is quick. And this Larry Drew card is quick. And that's it. That's it. And it does nothing else well. It doesn't even go to the basket well. But there's actually a player I think is worse, and it is the Amethyst version of this Jason Kidd. The reason I'm showing all the Jason Kids is there's something wrong with his release. It just can't go in. Like I was shoot doing shoot around and missed 10 shots in a row with this Jason Kidd. So Jason Kidd, no matter what version of this card you use, he's not going to hit jump shots. And the playmaking stat I think is the most relevant stat for any point guard. But at the same time, this card is still 50k. 50k for this Sapphire, sorry for this Amethyst, yes it's got decent stats, only, but only an 88 on ball defensive IQ, which you'd expect better for Jason Kidd. To be honest, Jason Kidd, you might think I'm nuts for putting him ahead of Larry Drew, I just hate this card. I hate all Jason Kidds and I've hated them since 2k15. So now on to the 5 best cards, 4 of these cards are actually moments cards with the 5 best value. So anyway, at number 5 we have got Emerald Derrick Rose. This card is about 2000 MT and to be honest, while in the later seeds I don't find him great except for the fact that he can just run, his stats are decent except for the fact he has got like a 95 speed, 95 speed upon 91 acceleration which is incredible and his set 89 vertical means he jams it even with the 35 driving dunk. But his shooting stats, I don't. His release, I don't know why. When I'm using the lower seeds, he did, he didn't miss. But as I keep progressing, it just keeps getting worse. So I'm not entirely sure what the story is with this rose. But for 2K, you can't go wrong with a card that runs that fast. At number four, we have got Damian Lillard's Ruby card. I've actually only ever used a Sapphire, 
because I only sold my players and got MT the other day, but this card is less than AK. Look at these stats. Really, really good. 89 off open shot 3, 88 off dribble shot 3, which is extremely good. He's got a driving of 85, and speed of 88, speed of 92, acceleration 93. Offensively, this card is probably the best Ruby point card. And when TJ used them against me, he dropped about 40 points and I just couldn't stop him. This card has killed me every time I've come up against it. And to be honest, when its price goes down to about 5k, I'm going to pick it up. And number three, we have got the player that everyone uses, and it's Steph Curry. Steph Curry, you can pick up on a good day for about 1900 coins. I've seen him up for 1900 coins. Most of the time he's about 3k, but he can go as low as 2. But using Steph Curry is just way, way too easy. Like, especially when he's paired up with Clay Thompson, that dynamic duo. This card is just unstoppable, and there's a reason why nearly everyone uses it. And number two, we have got Daniel Gibson, who's actually right now the most expensive I've ever seen him, because there was a time when he was 750 coins, and that was about a week ago. Daniel Gibson is just a better version of that Steph Curry, and he's much cheaper. He's got a better open shot 3 and a better contested shot 3. An 80 free throw seems to go in all the time. And he's got a 70 driving dunk, which is incredible, and a 95 vertical. He jams on people. This card was one of Andre 2K's first um, budget beasts, and it's to be honest, it's probably my favourite point guard to use. It's absolutely incredible. Like, if you haven't played with this card, you need to play with it. It's without doubt one of the best value cards in the game. And at number one, we have got Ruby John Wall. Yes, Ruby John Wall. This card is 16k. But just look at these stats. 92 offense overall, 90 defense overall. And you're wondering how he's an 89 overall. 2k will have lowered his intangible stats to like 60. And when it's brought up to the average of about 95, he goes up to a 92 amethyst. This card is really a 92 amethyst. If you're wondering how on why he's an amethyst, I'll leave a video in the description for that as well. I made a video about it, but anyway, this card is just incredible. Open shot 3 of 84 is what sets it. Like, I was going to put um, Amethyst Russell Westbrook on this list, but I realised that this John Wall is as good, if not better, than Amethyst Westbrook. 84 open shot 3, 82 off dribble shot 3, 90 open shot mid, 89 off dribble mid, 90 free throw, really good passing. On ball defense IQ of 84, low post defense IQ of 82. Which means that if you, the other team has Magic Johnson, they can't abuse him inside because he's an 82 low post defense. 97 speed, 97 speed with ball, 8, 93 acceleration, 85 dunk, and 88 vertical. This card is just, it's a glitch. This card is one of the best cards in the game, and right now it is 16k. So if you have the money, you should, you should definitely pick it up, there's no reason not to. So anyway, that's the video, thanks for watching, please like, comment and subscribe.